Welcome! Today I have the Dire Troll by WizKids Games. Now this is the Paint Knight kit and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to paint this miniature with the paints and the brushes provided in the box and we'll do a little beginner's guide to how to get this troll done. Um, absolutely beautiful miniature. So let's take this out of the box and make a start. Okay, so what's in the box? You get one troll, you get a base for the troll, we get 12 paints from Valeco, we get one multi-purpose brush, we get one fine detail brush, we get um, a pot to put your water in, and we get a little mixing tray that we can use for mixing our colours. Now the first thing I want to do is I'll take the paints out of our little cellophane wrapper here, and we shall cut each one of these pots away to make it easier to paint. I'm just using some snips and I'm cutting away the pots from each one of these on the sprue. This just makes it much easier to actually use your paints and um, each paint needs to be mixed before you use it so this also helps with that as well now once you've got all your paints split like so whenever you want to use one of your paints all you do is you'll turn your paint upside down like so and you'll shake it like so and the reason why you turn the paint upside down is that lets all the pigments flow down through the paint because what happens is the they will all um, stay at the bottom of this pot so by re reversing the pot and keeping it upside down and then giving it a shake it really does give a really good mix to all those colors okay so we've got all our paints ready we've got our water ready we've got our paint brushes ready um, I've also got some tissue um, but what we're going to do now is what we call the blocking in of colors um, now, Valeco miniatures already come with a prime paint, so you don't have to worry about priming your miniature. But what we do now is we move on to the blocking in of colours. Now, blocking, on, blocking in of colours is just as simple as it sounds. What we do is we're going to pick the colours we want to block in all the areas of this miniature. Um, so, for example, I will be painting all the skin areas first with the black green. So we'll paint all those areas green. Um, I shall be using the beastie, beastie brown for all the clothes. Um, and what else shall we be using? Um, and well, that's about all for now. Um, so what I'll do is I shall start blocking in these colors and then we'll come back and go to the next stage. All the colors have been added now. We've got our brown and our green. So what I want to do now is add some shading to this miniature. And for using the shading, we're gonna go straight into the black. Now, for the shading, all you need to do is do nice thin lines around the edges of all the items and around the eye sockets in between the toes. So I'll give you a quick example. Um, what I'm gonna do is on the belly there, between the loincloth and the belly I'm just going to add the black between the two and this gives us a darker shade and we do this around all the items um, to give that effect going around the leg there and of course on the actual item itself you can just add a little bit of black just underneath all the pieces of cloth And that gives depth to the mini and shade. And again, in between the little toes, we'll just add the black. And that's a way of giving us the shade we need for this miniature. And that makes the toes stand out even more. So we do that to all the places um, again, we'll be adding black where the eye sockets are. So we're just going to add some black in the eye sockets 
This will make them even deeper. And we'll add them to the inside of the ears. So all the ears have a little bit of black inside as well. So once that's finished, we'll come back and I can start showing you the highlighting on this miniature. We've added all the black to all the areas now, as you can see. I've added shading to all around every single part of the miniature. There's a little recess, so we've got black all around. Now we start doing the highlighting of the miniature, and that's the we're going to be using that park green that comes with the box set. Now, what I've done here. I've added the original green into the mixing palette and we've got the park green. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to start mixing 50-50 of each colour on the palette here. Just using the brush. And we'll mix that in together to get a medium shade. Okay, so we've got the colour we want and what we can do now is go over all the highest areas with our brush and we'll start off with the heads. So we'll start off with the head here and we're going over the nose first and we're just going around all the highest points and just picking them out all over the miniature, all the highest muscles All the places like the top of the nose, eyebrows, top of the head, it's only um, a lighter colour and what you do is we start off the darkest colour like we're doing and then we can add a little bit more of the lighter green to the mix just to bring out the colours. But the main thing to do now is just pick out all those highest areas and make it a little bit lighter. So the original green colour is basically a shadow. Right, top of the fires here. And we just keep doing this and repeating the process. As you can see, it's starting to lighten up on all the muscles there. And once you've done all the muscles, what we do then is we go back over where we just went and we add a little bit more green. So we're adding a little bit more of that park green and we just lighten up that green we just used. Let's mix that in on your palette there. And we can again go over the, what we've just highlighted. And we just keep on building up that green colour. Okay, what I'll do now is I'll finish these ones off and then we'll come back and we'll do the eyes and the mouth. For the mouth we are going to be using the black red that comes with your paint set. And again very simple, what we're going to do is we're going to paint the whole mouth. So we're going to add this red the whole mouth go over the teeth as well and we'll do that to all the faces 
where the mouth is open. So that's our initial colour for the mouth. And we'll do that with this one as well, just to show you. Just adding that red all the way, just cover the whole of the mouth and the gums and the teeth. It makes it a lot easier to paint in the teeth if you've already painted the gums and the mouth first. And one more here. So just paint all the red and then you're ready to paint the teeth. So we'll just let this dry and then I'll show you how to paint the teeth. For the teeth, um, we're going to be using the light flesh. And instead of painting each individual tuff, we just add a little bit of the light flesh to our brush and let's see if I can get this in focus set um, all we do is you go along just go along with your brush horizontally and you should pick out the teeth as the bristles go over said teeth like so and what we're going to do also while we're here is we're going to use the pale flesh as our eyes so this will be for the eyes so again we just go into where the eye socket is and we're going to add we're going to add some of this to give us our eyes there we are so our eyes are done there we do that to all the different heads and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to add the pupils as you can see it's super easy just takes a little bit of practice so to finish your trolls head we just need to add some pupils so we're going back into the black that comes with your set I've got the fine brush got a nice little point going a little bit of black on the end and we just go into the eye and we just add a pupil and again on the other side into the eye and we just add a pupil and he is ready and looks fantastic so we do that to all the heads all you're doing is adding a black dot to the top of the top of the eye so you've got the shade at the top and you just join in the top of the eye um, with the top uh, of the dot that you're adding so you're trying to keep it to the top um, like a T so imagine you're painting a black T so you've got a line going across the top of the eye and then it goes down a little bit and you've got that lovely eye and we do that to all the eyes so all we need to do now to finish up our troll is we're going to add some light brown we're going to add the parasite brown and I'm going to do the same on the clothes so I'm going to add the parasite brown and lighten up all the pieces of clothes on the miniature let me get some focus here there we are. and we'll paint the base with the dark sea green which is almost a grey so we'll get the base painted up we'll finish off the highlighting and that will be our troll done to a nice standard tabletop paint here we have the finished miniature from today it came out fantastic absolutely great fun to paint now these sets are definitely fantastic for a beginner it's for intermediate or even an advanced painter I think would get loads and loads of fun 
from these box sets from WizKids Games. Um, as you can see, I finished off the loincloth. I added some highlights to the loincloth and um, finished off the body. Now, everything I used today was from the set. I used the brushes, I used the paints, I used nothing else from my paints that I've got in my workshop. This was completely from the box set. So you can get a very nice effect and a very nice painted miniature with what comes in the box. So there we are. I really hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I hope it makes a few of you um, enjoy the hobby and continue to carry on painting because painting miniatures is just fantastic. So until next time.